What's up guys, welcome to another episode on this channel, and before we get started, I want to say excuse the hair, I did just get out of the shower, I've had an extremely long weekend, but god it was fun. Hence why I'm posting it on the Outdoor Adventures channel, because okay, yesterday, me and my buddy racked up, I think, 20 something fish? yesterday and i think we wound up catching about 12 today now why is there no fishing video you ask well that's simple the camera that i got of course i got a cheap knockoff because i was just trying to get a camera to film stuff is crap the uh, battery life on it is crap everything it just it's not good so with that being said that's why there's no fishing video but Damn, I wish there was today, because I kid you not. Okay, yesterday, first cast, popping the jig around. I think second pop, hook one. My PB, 2.87 pounds. And if I can get this video editing app that a guy just told me about to work right, I will insert the video, or not video, I will insert the picture of the fish and the scale here now so i caught my pb yesterday right and i mean we was just waxing them man we tore them up on flukes all day it was just crazy i mean it was cast after cast after cast and every cast we was yanking one in just about now fast forward to today i i get out there first i'm out there about seven 30-ish, give or take, and I'll bring two in before James and Lakota even get there, and of course they don't have a stringer, and yes, we did keep some because James is not wanted fish, I generally don't keep them, I will throw them back because I fish this sport, I find it fun, I'll throw them back, I don't care, but James is not wanted fish, so we kept some fish. Now, Like I said, I get there about 7.30. I call James. He's like, yeah, I know I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm on my way. I call Lakota, and I have to wake him up because he's over there. Snoring like a dang sawing logs. So I wake him up. He's like, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll, let me get dressed. I'll be on my way. So I hang up with him, and I throw out. Same jig, same rod, same everything that I caught my PB on yesterday. In just about the same spot freaking yank i reeled one in he was probably I'd, I'd say he was a good two and a quarter two and a half so i send that picture to the group and they're like yeah i know i'm coming i'm coming just chill so i let that one go throw out again popping along and i missed him i'm like crap all right so i flip out there nothing i'm like okay screw it i'm not gonna catch that one so out there i'm popping it along and then whoop i caught another one they get there and we start catching some you know here and there it's not like it was yesterday but it it's it's going pretty decent now for those of you that know we went to arkansas last weekend weekend before last i don't know it was the last weekend a weekend before i can't remember but water was supposed to be really clear so we changed or i changed to extremely light line to try to make up pretty clear water well so when we came back we only caught or we didn't catch anything lakota caught one fish in arkansas and that was it it's a shame, I know. But at least we caught, or he caught something. But, so, we come back, and on my six cent, it's a six nine medium moderate Lux series rod that I'm, I throw a fluke on. That's my fluke rod. Still had eight pound test line on it. But, you know, I mean, hell, I'm not. We were out there at, uh, we was actually uh, somewhere where it was flooded, so I wasn't expecting nothing that 
damn big to come out of that place. So, you know, I didn't, you know, I was like, okay, it's eight pounds. It'll, it'll bring whatever in, you know. So, but I'm sorry, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here because I just want to get straight into my rant and probably what's going to keep me up at night for years to come. But, so we fish that spot for a little while. We, we catch some. James is like, I want to go to that point over there. So he's like, let's have my truck and go across over there and go fish that for a minute. I said, all right. So we, we get in our trucks. We go over there. We're fishing. James pulls two in. I, I don't get one. Lakota don't get one. James pulls two in. On a damn spinnerbait. So, but about that time, Lakota's fishing like to the, me and James are like over here. And Lakota's over here. And Lakota sees a guy pull up to the spot where we were fishing at before. And Lakota goes, Dude, you ain't gonna believe this. That dude just threw out and caught one right there. James looks at me and goes, Damn. There was our chance to go back. Because we was actually planning on going back. We was just gonna let it die down a little bit. And then go back over there and try to pick back up. But. He's like, oh, well, you know, we'll try to let him leave, and then we'll go back over there. So we stay over there for probably about 30, 45 minutes. Of course, half of it's resting because we've been there for forever, and we're all hurting and sore. But we stay there, and James is like, screw it, let's go back. If he gets mad, he gets mad. So we go over there, and we actually start talking to the guy. He's actually a pretty cool dude. Don't know his name. He told us we could come fish his pond anytime we wanted, but neither one of us got his number to get an address to go fish the pond. So, hoping I can run into him again. But, so we go over and we talk into him, you know, and we fish. And I think I bring two, yeah, I brought two in. And, uh, James, I think James caught one, I think. I don't know. I've There's been so many fish caught this weekend. I'm, my numbers are bad. But anyways. So, like I said, my six cent rod is my fluke rod. And of course, that's what we was catching them on. So that's what I was throwing. And I'm throwing it out there. And the, normally the way I fish flukes is different from the way we were catching them today because normally I'm power fishing throwing them out there, popping them, bringing them back throwing them out there, popping them, bringing them back but in order to catch these fish that's not how you do it, you throw it out there and you let it sit and then you pop it twice and you reel your slack up and you watch your line and your line will tighten up and you'll just feel it tug on it when they take it so anyway, throw it out there let it sit for a minute Pop it, reel it, no slack, no slacks being drug out, so I'm like, alright. Screw it. Go to pop it, and something's got it, and I'm like, crap, I'm hung. And I'm sitting there cranking on it, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's a fish. Shit. So I set the hook, and I'm reeling. I'm, I'm like, damn, like, I don't know what the hell this is, but this is a freaking... Something, there's something on my line that is really big. I don't know what it is. So they're all, at that point, they've all dropped what they were doing. James, Lakota, and that other guy. guy. They've all dropped what they're doing. They come and try to help me because they realize, they know that I've got eight pound line on this freaking reel. And about that time, I kid you not, a freaking spot, I probably had, it was probably a good five and a half six pound bass on my line we've seen him he didn't even jump all the way out the water he just freaking rolled in his stomach dude i kid you not his the stomach on that fish was this damn wide and we know it was a bass because we've seen like when he rolled we've seen the stomach and the side so if you see a side of a bass you know it's a bass so we knew it was a bass and we knew it was huge and like right after he rolled he spit it. And I sat there. And I damn near died. 
I lost the fish of a lifetime for me right there. Probably all because I had a freaking eight pound line and I couldn't, didn't have enough backbone and a rod to set the hook good enough and keep him pinned like I should have or whatever. I don't know. I'm not making excuses. I screwed up. I don't know what I did wrong, but I screwed up somehow and I lost the fish of my lifetime right there. But yeah. So, needless to say, I need to get a GoPro because I need video footage of stuff like this. Because I was talking to James yesterday and I was like, dude, this, like, all this would just make for killer footage. Cause we could, we could legit probably turn this, just this weekend alone, yesterday and today, into probably, I'd say three or four videos. It just would depend on how long I made the videos. Because, I mean, it was just that dang good. It was awesome and yeah so like I said I'm gonna try to edit this video and I will post pictures of the fish that we caught because we did take pictures with some some a lot of them we didn't but the bigger ones we did and uh I'll post pictures of the scale because, like I said, I did take a weight on that one, and it was 2.87. And I need to get a GoPro before we actually try to start doing fishing videos, because otherwise it's not going to work. But I just had to tell somebody my story, because, like, this... That freak... That killed me when I lost that damn fish. I mean, I... I there was a couple that I missed this weekend yeah but it wasn't no big deal because i never actually had them i was gonna say technically i didn't lose them because i never actually hook set them but i hook set the damn fish and i lost him and that freaking hurt so i'm sad and depressed now so oh I'm still going to fish, so there's that. And, uh, hopefully James will be getting a new reel tomorrow. And I will try to convince him to let me do a video. And we will do an unboxing and unveil it. And hopefully spool it up. And just throw it out in the yard, if anything. Because I know they're like, yeah, we don't want to fish this week. We're wore out. Da, 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 da. So we probably won't fish anymore this week, but hopefully I can convince him to uh, spool it up or, or unbox it, spool it up, and throw it around in the yard some. So we can do this. Because I think it'll be pretty cool. Also, get a spit bottle out of the frame. Also, Lakota has actually ordered a Shimano SLX. Just the regular SLX. And a Gogan Green Series Reaction Rod kit. And for those of you who don't know what the kit is, it's basically just the Green Series rods. Because they, they, they have a kit for every rod in the series on the Green Series. They don't do the Gold Series, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But anyways, it's a Guggen Green Series Reaction Rod. And it's a bunch of baits that you're supposed to throw on the Reaction Rod. But what I thought would be a good idea is we're actually going to compare a $150 rod, which is my 6 cents Lux Series rod, to his Guggen Green Series rod. Now, because that is a Reaction Rod, I wish you would have got a Twitch Rod, but... It's whatever. I still want to do a comparison to the sensitivity test and all that. But, um, yeah, we're going to, uh, because I've actually got two Shimano SLX XTs. So, I'm going to take one off of one rod and put it on his rod. And then my rod will have the SLX XT on it. And we are going to throw the same baits on it. And we're going to compare the two and see which one we like better. 
just to see because hell if I can get away with a hundred dollar rod versus a hundred and fifty dollar rod there's three rods compared to two so I'll take that extra rod if I can so we're gonna do a comparison test and all that and we are gonna video that but that will be on my phone or Lakota's phone or James's phone or somebody's phone I don't know but it will be on a phone but hopefully this video editor app that I downloaded works out so that I can actually like piece stuff together to make it flow and be like I want it to be instead of just three hours of us out there throwing two rods back and forth going eh, I don't know or eh. Uh, uh, kind of like, I don't know. Here, let's push again real quick. And, you know, and freaking. That, because, I mean, y'all don't want to sit there and watch three hours of that. Or however long we're going to throw them. I don't know. That was just a number I spit out. But. So, yeah, that's probably going to be the next video that I do. Is the uh, comparison between the Guggen Green and the Six Cents Lux series. Like I said, I wish you would have got a Twitch rod. Because the Twitch rod. And the Lux Series rod that I have is the exact same as the 6'9 medium moderate action rod. Now, the only difference between my rod and the reaction rod that Lakota has ordered is it's a 7'2 medium moderate action rod. So, like I said, that's what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 5 inches of... It's a five inch length difference, but <laughs> for those of you that have done your research on rods and understanding all the stuff that goes into rods, length makes a difference. So five inches could make a heck of a lot of difference in casting ability, accuracy, or this, that, and the other. I don't know, because like I said, I've never had a, I've never messed with a green tools rod before. But that will be the next rod in series, or that will be the next video in the series. I say series, this ain't series, but this will be the net, that'll be the next video I do. So y'all look forward to that, and because I look forward to making it, because I have a feeling that's going to be a good video, regardless of what rod I decide I like better. But you'll make a good video, regardless. So y'all look forward to that, which I don't know when that rod should be here for him, so we're just really going to kind of wing it. It might be in this week, but I'm busy next weekend. Him and Lakota and James are actually supposed to go back home and go fish next weekend. I'll be home, but I'm busy, so I won't be able to fish with them. But it's okay. I'll catch up with them week after next or whatever. But, all right, y'all take it easy. And until the rod comparison video, maybe unless I go fishing by myself and get on some that I can actually somehow find a way to set my phone up and video stuff but till then y'all take it easy